while the NFIB is out with its monthly read on optimism, showing a new all-time high of 108.8. This is a nearly one-point increase from last month. This also breaks the previous record of 108 set back in 1983. Now, this chart is a look at optimism for the full year, holding well above the index's historical average of 98. The biggest gains this month contributing to the jump were plans to increase inventories, plans to make capital outlays, and plans to increase employment. To the downside, the biggest drops were in those who expect higher real sales, expected credit conditions, and those who expect the economy to improve. Labor quality, though, remains a stubborn issue for small business in the number one spot yet again this month as respondents' single biggest issue, followed by taxes and government red tape and regulations. But what's interesting is that obviously they can't find skilled workers or even unskilled workers to fill positions. But I asked Bill Dunkelberg, their chief economist, when will this actually impact optimism? And he said he doesn't think it will hit them anytime soon because profits are so high. So they're doing so well. They want to create more output, but they don't have the people to fill those positions to make that happen. You and said that they're increasing inventories. Is that because of trade? We have a lot of small businesses here on Power Lunch concerned about what's going on with the tariffs. I don't think that there's necessarily a trade tie in there. I think that's the expectation that sales will continue to increase. Uh, but one thing about trade is we asked, you know, Bill, if trade and tariff concerns will weigh on small business optimism, they do have a less trade intensive membership. So he says they haven't seen it in the survey yet. You know, everybody's in kind of wait and see mode right now. So for the companies that are looking for workers, 89% said that they could not find uh, skilled workers, right, to fill the jobs. Are they willing to raise wages? Do they think that that's an issue at all? So that's a great question. Um, wages have continued to increase over this time because they're trying to hang on to the people that they actually have because the labor market's so tight. If you lose the good workers that you have and then you can't find skilled laborers to replace them, I mean, you're in big trouble, right?